I was just thinking how extraordinary beloved she is, Lorna Luft. Um, you join us from California, where the time is significantly different. So <laughs> we really do appreciate. Um, just a little bit. Yes, sorry, sorry. It's just after midnight, isn't it? So thank you for staying up to talk to us. Now, it's interesting to see you. your mother depicted on screen, but it must be very hard for you. Is that why you have taken a decision not to see the film? No, um, you know something? I'm really protective of my mom's legacy and my mother's legendary career. And I feel that if you really want to know about my mom, go see her movies and go listen to her recordings and go watch her television shows. So I'm getting to literally introduce my mom to my grandchildren. And that's what I find to be so important because, you know, when you think about it, by the time my mother was 37 years old, she had made 39 movies. Wow. And she had done over 500 radio shows and 1,200 and about 57 concerts. Mm. So it was an extraordinary career. And I am, I sit here and I think to myself, I'm the luckiest person in the world to have had her as my mom. She was a um, captivating presence, wasn't she, in all that she did on screen and when she was singing. But of course, she was also your mum, Lorna. What was she like as a mum? How difficult yeah. were some of those times as well? Because as is portrayed in the, in the book and in the film, sorry, she struggled with some substance well, abuse. Well, you know, some, you know I, I think that you have to understand the whole story mm. and you have to understand from a to b and and then if you understand that then you can go through the rest of the alphabet and um i think the most important thing to realize is what she left us and this unbelievable library of film and television and 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 radio and yes she passed away early but what an incredible legacy. I, I know that, um, you know, I was 16 years old. I knew her. Mm -hmm. and, and someone said the other day, they were talking about, you know, living in a shadow. And uh, it was actually a wonderful, wonderful actress by the name of Tracy Ellis Ross. And her mom is Diana Ross. And someone mm -hmm. asked her, they said, what was it like to live in in the shadow of your mom. And she said, I didn't live in the shadow. I lived in her embrace. And I thought, how great. Mm. What a wonderful thing to say. And that's how I feel. That's a and, gorgeous you know, description, a yes. Few... Because people assume, yeah, don't you know, they, if you've got a mother of that stature, that she dominates your life. And it's a, it's a completely different way of interpreting it, to think, you know, no, I grew up in her embrace. I grew up in her hug. In fact, you have followed in your mum's footsteps, haven't you? Because even though it's late in California, early here in uh, London, you are coming over to London to, to perform yourself. I am. I am. I, I'm, I'm, I'm performing at a fantastic, fantastic venue called the Cafe Zidel, and it's um, the Crazy Cox nightclub. It's one of the most gorgeous places I've ever worked, and I really love it. And two weeks ago, um, I played the Hollywood Bowl with my best friend, Barry Manilow. And that's 19,000 people, and I had the L.A. Symphony, and it was so vast, and it's so big, and, you know, people are sitting in practically another postal code. And it's so big, <laughs> and for, 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 to, for me now to come to a f venue that I love so much because everybody's so close, and, and, and everybody is, is... You're practically having dinner with everyone, and you can't... Um, you can't fake it, and there's no place to hide. And I think for a performer, it's such a wonderful way of being able to say, I, I'm so grateful that I can do both, yeah. that I can play places like the Hollywood Bowl, and then I can come to London. It sounds and really be with intimate. You all. It sounds really intimate. It, it's yeah, no, it's 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 really a wonderful, wonderful venue, and um, okay. I, I'm I'm thrilled. Well, look, uh, let's tell everyone when you're going to be here, because it's 30th of September, 
uh, through to the 4th yes. of October. Lorna Luft loves London. Go to well. I'm sure it's going to be a, a fabulous, uh, fabulous show. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing a few thoughts. Oh, with us thank you. Unfortunately, we don't have more thank time. Thank you. But great to speak to you. Oh, thank you. Clearly not overshadowed by anybody. No.